Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading, oh, you have a two of cups. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for supporting the channel. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius sign, please. Okay, all right. It looks like your card is ready. So think about your situation. Think about your focus. I'll connect with you and let's see what is your guided message, okay? Now, the first part of the reading, we will do some energy checked in. And then the second part of the reading, let's see what's coming towards you. What is your guided message? What is connecting towards you in love, career, money, and general situationship? This is for the Sagittarius sign, please. What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And so we start your reading. You're starting the reading with the Four of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Three of Wands in here. I feel like the Four of Pentacles. I feel like Sagittarius. Um, there's a part of you that you're keeping yourself secret or special <laughs> um you know it's giving me this energy where for future reference like for future reference or in the future like somehow you've got this little reminder to yourself Sagittarius that in the future I won't share this side of me I will only share this side of me because the four of pentacles holding and then the queen of wands this is so you so it could be recently or maybe soon okay because i'm channeling the recent past and you know the current energy is moving towards the immediate future like don't be surprised sagittarius if you feel powerful if you keep a secret you know it's a it's something that for my own privacy, I won't tell you my secret. Or maybe you're building something because the Three of Wands is all about the future. The Three of Wands this is a future move, futuristic, future plan, or something great about your life and yourself. Okay? Oh, yes. Look at that. Four of Pentacles again. Look at that, Miss Sagittarius, Miss Independent. Okay? I think there's a song of Miss Independent. Yeah, I think, is it, is it a Chris Brown song? Or Sean Kingston? I forgot. But it's giving me this powerful feeling that, you know what, in the future, well, maybe right now, I won't tell the following people my secret. I won't tell them where I buy this, my business, my life, my story. Like, there are certain people that you will say this, and there are so certain people that you won't say this, okay? Yes, Nine of Swords. It's possible, guys, that... You know, maybe things that people knows about you, they can take it against you for some of you guys. But um, you're being cautious about what you're sharing to the world. You know, the Queen of Wands is also a social butterfly. So maybe there is something recently or uh, maybe something it could it, something recently or it could be a reminder that or you could be feeling it right now where I don't have to say everything to them I don't have to share everything I don't have to put something you know this in social media and this and that but there's something in here that you feel powerful if you keep it a secret okay it could be like okay I'm gonna move to this place I'm gonna have this job I'm gonna open this business but I'm gonna keep it a secret from the evil eye <laughs> you know from people who could critic it critic it or can who can jinx it for some of it but it's you know it's something i feel powerful if i don't say it i feel powerful if i just keep it with me or few you know few people knows it you know people that trust you people that celebrates you people who cheers you up so there's some secret and private and something that you wouldn't tell it 
even to me you know <laughs> like four of pentacles and nine of so maybe you've learned your lesson that sharing it in public or sharing it in advance will you know make you lose it. whatever you feel powerful do it Sagittarius because you know if you feel powerful if you do it then it's gonna serve its purpose for you in the future but there's something powerful that it could be the advice to you that whatever you're going through whether it's something up or down I hope it's something of a you know winning if you feel like it's safe to keep it a secret then keep it a secret because it feels powerful it feels safe go for it and the three of wands you could be you know you might find yourself in the next couple of days quiet like you could be you know maybe in a crowd you're the Sagittarius the happy the chatter the talkative you might shift into being quiet and observant and put a little bit of mysteriousness in the next couple of days but whatever it is that makes you feel good and powerful do it okay it it could be that but there's something mysterious and secret and private and it feels safe and it feels powerful and somehow it's connected to your future you could also be you know with the three of wands and your Sagittarius you could also be reshaping your behavior and the energy that you put outside like I could feel that for some of you um, there's something there's something picky like you're not gonna be so accessible to everyone like there would be a part of you that you won't put it out there because they can't just accept you know access you bec you know there's something special about you so you're not for a pro bono or you won't just give away it so whatever it is it's very powerful it's also very independent and it feels expensive you know like the more you're the more they cannot access you the more you feel powerful and the more you feel like you hold a great deal of yourself in here so whatever this one is as I said it is uh, it's something that you will use in the future or will protect protect you in the future or it could be a personality your personality your your personality and behavior it's changing towards maybe a certain person or a group of people or it could be th towards social media but it's very healthy and it's very powerful yeah oh it could be that you've you know maybe you have experienced some sort of rejection maybe you have experienced some sort of um, betrayal that's why you're keeping it a secret or being mysterious you know and it feels powerful so go for it Sagittarius okay now the second part of the reading let's see what's coming towards you Wow <laughs> this is exciting I don't know why I'm giggly <laughs> why because you look so radiant I don't know where you're going but the next two to the next three seven ten days Sagittarius you look glorious okay there's a place I don't know Sag where you're going but I feel excited for you I don't know why <laughs> my voice is high pitch the Empress card you're going you know Sagittarius this could be love <laughs> this could be an emperor huh? okay so let me just pull myself together I don't know why I'm laughing and giggling but it's something great okay um, you know this world card in here you know if you look at the world card it looks like a telescope you know it looks like um, someone is gonna be telescope like someone is going to like zoom you like imagine imagine if this is a phone no? someone is going to zoom and follow you and lurk around you with excitement and with admiration and that person is an emperor look at that now so what's coming towards you in the next three seven ten days you know two to three weeks is an emperor wow this is hot this person will view you with excitement okay let's see oh they're hiding they're gonna hide from the dark a little bit and then they're going to reveal themselves okay um i'm also getting that maybe because you're mysterious maybe you're quiet you're mysterious that's why this person is so immersed like you know it's it's a it's a vibe where um if you want to be attractive like if in the next couple of days you're gonna go to places and if you like this person you want to impress this person whether it's platonic romantic being quiet is the favorable trait or attitude or behavior in that specific crowd 
especially with this emperor this emperor is very amused of you someone is going to go crazy attractive with you Sagittarius the thing is they're very quiet observing you have no idea that they have a crush on you or they like you they want your presentation because it, it could also be work you know it could be a workplace or an event place okay let me just pull some more details there's something exciting with the two of swords in here I'm seeing something in the two of swords let me just clarify that mm, yeah there's an invitation wow there's a page of wands there's a page of wands and a five of swords and a four of swords in here look okay sometime soon okay sometime soon you feel very bored and somehow you're calling or texting or maybe you have this friend okay but the someone is bored okay there someone is bored someone is planning a getaway um, a night out a dinner but someone is quite bored and they want to have some fun they want to have some exciting catch-up you know maybe girls night out maybe guys night out but someone is feeling bored and they're going to trigger a call a text an invitation it's gonna circle around okay I feel like this will come to you maybe a day before the invitation it's out of the blue it's you know it feels like it's boring like this is boring it's boring no invitation then let's make it fun let's make it exciting exciting it could be you but it might be coming from another person with the two of swords because two of swords you have no plans for the weekend and here you go boom there's an invitation now this invitation is coming from this this invitation this event this idea is coming from someone who's a little bit bored but they know how to good they know how to find good good fun like these are the people that you would go because it's fun to be within and like safe fun not cra crazy crazy fun but so I feel like so they're gonna invite you you're gonna go out with them or you're being encouraged to go out you know if you're feeling bored and you've got invitation go out you're gonna meet someone you're gonna meet someone now it looks like the event it's like low-key you know it's like the event the event the place it's not the biggest crowd it's not like the Taylor Swift concert or it's not the big big crowd you know it's not like that it's a low-key maybe pub or club or it's a low-key event something domestic local artists in here um, it's also like um you know there are some okay let's have fun and you go to this famous restaurant because of their food and this this is something low-key but also great okay like it's a low-key quiet but you will have so much fun because you are surrounded by fun loving good vibe people and also in that place in that event oof, you're gonna meet someone amazing okay um it could also be like after work event okay it could also because it's an emperor so it could be connected to work or <clears throat> it connect it could be connected to a place where you know out of the blue your friends your colleagues like come on you know we had a you know it was a long day let's have some drinks or let's have dinner or coffee or this or that I see you going I see you going the intention was just to relieve the boredom and have some good loving fun with the following people and there you go that is where you meet this person I don't know but it's a low key it all it also feels it also feels like this is you just had it also feels like this is your work and you just walk and you went to that place and I believe those people there is also you they go to the same I don't know restaurant or bar but it's it's just circling around whoever goes there you know also works around so there's something oh they go there they go around so something is like that but it's a low key it's unexpected it's not super duper plan it's like hey you know what it's a f it's a Friday do you want to go to this place or oh it's a Saturday it's like the event or the invitation it will come after work or it's gonna give you like maybe half day to probably they will in excuse me they will excuse me they will inform you half day something like that with this and temper temperance card wow and then this is the hermit card wow this is like who you never you thought it was gonna be a quiet night it's a feeling of today it feels like boring and then unexpectedly an invite come and it's not boring at all it's very much divine timing 
okay but you know what with the temperance card and the hermit card i'm really really hearing the word it's low key maybe maybe the reason why i'm hearing the word low key is because i'm seeing like not a lot of people like it could be a club a pub a restaurant not a lot of people but you could easily talk you know or it could be your group knows the other group something like that and it's so easy to just merge you because the only people there is your group and their group so the next thing to do is just to merge like it's so it's not crowded you know it's it's that vibe it's that vibe and it's an emperor and for some reason i'm getting that you could be connected work you know something work something friends something unexpected but it's you know it's 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 a you know for some of you it's a place that i wouldn't go there but okay i'm bored like there's a feeling of okay it's not it's a boring place it's not my thing but i'm bored you went you know it's i don't think the the people that you're going to like the people that's going to invite you they're not boring but probably the activity or the place but you would go that's why i'm really getting that low key it's like okay i don't well they're gonna go to karaoke and i don't like to sing but hey i'm bored you know let me go anyway and then you met someone there okay but you know but that's not me i love to sing <laughs> so sag those unexpected invite low-key that is where you're gonna meet the big emperor in here it's there it's hiding in those little village in those little place in those unexpected invitation in those less crowded is a jewel it is an emperor that is waiting for you i'm waiting for your love what's that song yeah so sag this is your reading okay accept the invitation you know it's about time to meet your emperor they're going to watch you <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling. I think you would notice that they're smiling at you or I don't know, there's something something flirty about this emperor. <laughs> it's so hard to resist. Enjoy, Sag, okay? Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. You have a great day.